Hello everyone, this is the marketing plan for the Coca-Cola Company's backcountry chips, or as we like to call them, BC chips. Group 2 consists of Hanum Samavidam, Roger Muntu, Ryan Shadowski, and myself, Carolyn Hernandez. BC chips will be a product line under the Coca-Cola Company, which is widely known for their sodas and other refreshing beverages. Um, this would be the first snack product under this company um, so we will be entering a brand new market a few facts about BC chips is that we plan for them to come from the heartland of North America which is Idaho um, where our potatoes will be grown organically and harvested through family farms other partnerships and other corporations um, we plan for our chips to stand out due to us not using um, processed saturated fat, the chips will not be high in sodium or contain trans fats. These will be a healthier chip alternative compared to the traditional chips that we see in the grocery stores today. Uh, we also plan for our reusable packaging and eco-friendly manufacturing processes to protect our future environments because we find this very important. We would like BC Chips mission statements to align with the Coca-Cola Company's mission, which is to refresh the world and make a difference. We believe we can accomplish this by offering our customers a healthier chip alternative that they can enjoy without having the concern that this snack will harm their bodies in any way or may be causing future environmental issues that we are not aware of right now. Hello, my name is Ryan Chowski, and I'll be going over the industry trends slide in our marketing plan presentation. The snack and food industry is comprised of the top 50 companies, which represent 90% of the industry's $30 billion revenue. The leading U.S. snack companies are PepsiCo with Frito-Lays, the Kellogg Company for Pringles, and Sinus Lace in Corp with Cape Cod. According to the NPD, statistically, more than half of the Americans eat snacks two to three times every day. Backcountry chips will create a demand for a healthy snack with less sodium and low saturated fat and competitive price. Backcountry chips will create a demand for a worldwide market where there are higher personal income, better standard of living, and changing demographics. Backcountry chips can utilize the Coca-Cola company for their knowledge of manufacturing, leadership strengths, vast distribution channels, and marketing resources, which will provide them with advantages over their competitors. Without a healthy snack, there are major health issues that could cause obesity, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Backcountry trips will use local producers for to produce organically grown potatoes, develop strong relationships with the producers to avoid price fluctuations and to set up distribution and manufacturing for the facilities close to local producers. Competition. There are many competitors in the chips industry. The main competitor for BC chips will be Lay's Potato Chips by Pepsi Company. We are confident that BC chips can enter the foods food and snack market with an advertisement during the upcoming Super Bowl and with an attractive prices. We will follow aggressive pricing tactics until we get a firm footing in the chips market. No doubt it means high investment in marketing expenses in the first couple of years, but BC chips will stand out from other leading competitors because of its natural ingredients and cost behind each purchase. This is Roger Moon too from Group Two, and uh, in our group, I will tell you a little more about our SWAT, um, and I will go briefly, uh, quickly to tell you what our SWAT is all about. So the strength we thought that uh, uh, um, you know Coca Cola is is the famous, uh, the most famous brand in the world with a large uh, product range. You know it's known by ninety four percent you know, of the world population. So Coca-Cola was established uh, in May, you know, in 1886. So that gives us uh, uh, a strength 
that to show that we are very well, um, you know, established brand, uh, and that that uh, on our side. Another strength is the strong distribution network that we have as a soda giant with the global sales. Coca Cola relied on a, a network of uh, partners to uh, quickly reach the um, uh, large number of customers. You know, it promotes the product by developing the brand and uh, its uh, notoriety. Uh, um, and uh, for many years, Coca Cola nurtured a desire to sell in many countries as possible. So that strong distribution network is definitely uh, a strength for us. Another strength is a large product portfolio because Coca-Cola is largely uh, the leader with uh, its large sales portfolio, including, you know, Coca-Cola and all the uh, derivative, you know, like Fanta, Sprite and more uh, such such as like sparkling beverages and water juices um, so that we really have a large product portfolio which also is on our side and is definitely a strength um, branding and promotion also is a strength because um, as we all know promotion is an important uh, for external communication it is used not only for the uh, uh, the brand but also for sales strategy and sponsorship or public relations so in that itself coca-cola has proven itself throughout all these years to be a uh, uh, very very uh, to have to be a branding and and and, uh, and to have a great promotion strategy um, Global presence is also now uh, on our side because the brand, as I was saying earlier, the brand is present in more than 200 countries around the world. You know, today Coca-Cola has more than 300 bottling partners around the world. That's a lot. The system has, however, evolved in the United States, where Coca-Cola has brought, in recent years, the majority of the capital of the company uh, in charge of bottling to uh, better control the distribution chain. Uh, uh, you know, in its uh, main territory. So that really also help. Um, we have a high customer loyalty. As we learn in this class, you know, loyalty, it's really important in marketing. Coca-Cola produces a real uh, 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 taste pleasure of consumers and, you know, by offering them a, a, a wide range of non-alcoholic drinks. So, you know, the name has gone itself, you know, uh, has proven itself throughout the years, as I was saying, worldwide. You know, Coca-Cola brings a lot to uh, customers in terms of diversity and that, that makes the, the, those customers, you know, keep coming back in addition to uh, refreshing and, 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 you know, and all the other product that Coca-Cola provide. Uh, you know, it, it really has a really good customer service toward, you know, its clients. Let's also you know, not ignore, as I was saying earlier, the, the, the branding, the, 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 the pricing strategies. All this makes Coca-Cola a very, very high uh, customer loyalty as far as uh, um, the company itself. Um, we also have a higher market value. Coca-Cola is overall in a financially strong position markets, you know, uh, in the world because of uh, all the, the, the product that uh, has been uh, selling. Coca-Cola brand was valued uh, at $84 billion. Uh, dollars. The, the, the whole time high Coca-Cola stock closing price was 60.13 on February 21st, 2020. So that's pretty good as far as our um, uh, um, strength. The weakness, however, you know, uh, I'll talk about the weaknesses as well. Uh, water management related issue. Uh, yes, Coca-Cola is a large factory w w which are uh, located in India and Mexico. Unfortunately, these factories are polluting. So that's uh, one of our uh, issue here, you know. So uh, another weakness is the lower product diversification. Pepsi-Cola is more diverse than its competitor, Coca-Cola, that we are because of all the products. You know, they, they, they provide lots of snacks, cereal, chips, pasta, and all those other uh, things that they provide. We also have uh, um, another part of weakness is the new. We new to uh, the the uh, this product that we are showing you tonight. Uh, we new to the chips and snack industry. So although Coca Cola is known worldwide, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, BC chips will be their first ever snack product. So we believe that because of the the the, the you know the the name that we already established, we will be able to provide our chips and will be great. 
The opportunities, and I'll talk briefly about them as well, diverse diversification. So Coca-Cola brings together, you know, several brand, you know, Coca-Cola and, and it's, it has a light zero, light zero, uh, cherry uh, derivative. And it's also known for the drinks such as Sprite Fanta, as I was saying earlier, also water, you know, the sunny water uh, or even Munich made. So in total, the firm has more than 20 brand value at over 1 billion each by the group. So diversification is definitely one of our opportunity that we have. We can continue growing in that sense. Uh, health friendly products. Coca-Cola disclosed around the healthy and natural side of the product to generate a lot of uh, uh, skepticism. You know, indeed, the, 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 the image of Coca-Cola remains associated with uh, soda. It's distributed a lack of transparency on the ingredient in, in, in manufacturers' drinks. So consumers have grown increasingly health conscious in the recent decades. And that's why also the BC chips that we will be giving you, we will put more time as we mentioning it on this presentation about, you know, on the health conscience, uh, uh, products as well. Uh, so we will, we are considering that we are, uh, on, on providing this product. We are making sure we're considering that while we're giving the BC, the backcountry chips, uh, is healthy, uh, for our consumers. Um, another, uh, opportunity is partnership. So by partnering with, uh, other brand, including beverages and snack that, you know, our company will be able to grow in sales. And we will, there's no doubt about that, that we know that we will be growing sell if we partner with this other company. Um, and that will really help us. So we already know that, uh, we have partners of like that, the Olympic committees and their delegation, we already partner with them, which makes us also very, very, uh, uh, well known and put us on the map again because the Olympic and uh, the Olympic tradition it's uh, it's uh, it's big uh, and it promotes uh, the spirit of the game and uh, that's another place for us to market our new product and our new upcoming uh, product Buck Country or BC chips. Now threats. I'm going to talk briefly about threats. So we have few threats here. Competitive threats. Uh, we already know the two rivals who compete in the soda market worldwide are Coca-Cola and Pepsi in terms of uh, diver diversification, digital and capitalization. So that that's that's a threat. We know that Pepsi-Cola comes first when we think of threat. Um, so some regulatory issues can also be threat. Several laws are affecting Coca-Cola, including the tax, labor laws. All those things are threat for us. That's something that we need to continue working on and, 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 and continue to try to improve as far as, uh, you know, that's one of the threat that we have. Um, uh, demand for health friendly product. I was saying it earlier that we are making sure that we are giving to our client, uh, very friendly product. So the fight against obesity, uh, obesity, as I was saying earlier, is, uh, one of the major public health challenges. Um, it is a complex subject in the U S and around the world that requires, you know, uh, the, 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 the inputs or mobile mobilization of uh, everyone, you know, public authority, health professionals, manufacturers, and of course, here we are. So as a business leader in the soft drink market, we, uh, our role is to, you know, we, we have to play our role and, and, and we determine to play it fully. And that's why the product that we are offering, uh, the BC chips is, uh, a health, uh, healthy products. BC Chips has two main objectives. The first is to spread awareness of the COVID-19 pandemic. We want our customers to know that they are helping families in need just by purchasing our new product. We will also offer our customers the option to donate directly to Feeding America by using the sites provided on our packaging and on the Coca-Cola website. Our second objective is to attract new customers. Due to the current pandemic, Coca-Cola has experienced decrease in sales. We believe that offering a new product line will attract new customers that Coca-Cola did not have before. Having a delicious chip option that everyone can enjoy at home can help us retain our current customers as well attract as well as attract new customers. We will measure this by watching our change in sales as well as the number of direct donations to Feeding America. 
We would also like for our customers to provide their feedback on our new product as well as the cost behind it. Budget object. Coca-Cola is known to be an established company with a flush of money. It can definitely afford the significant ongoing investment to launch BC Chips. BC Chips shall use a marketing mix program budget where all the individual programs that are identified in our competition analysis are funded and executed. A huge portion of the budget will be allocated for the upcoming Super Bowls. The goal of the marketing budget is to get the word out to the customers about the first ever BC Chips by Coca-Cola company. Hello, my name is Ryan Zowski and I'll be going over the social and environment objective slide. Backcountry Chips social responsibility is donating money, potatoes and supplies to organizations like Feed America, food banks, food pantries, soup kitchens and homeless shelters. Also focusing on community recently affected by COVID-19 pandemic, backcountry trips will use advertisements to encourage social distance and wearing masks. Backcountry trips environmental responsibilities is to design a paper biodegradable bags and to create a green environment by recycling water, by using solar energy and by eliminating air emissions from plant and automobile fleets. Hello, my name is Ryan Stasky and I'll be going over the targeting Pacific groups. So the age group were 15 years old and under and 16 older and over. Uh, the older age group had more individuals than the younger. No advertisements were created to target the younger group. We use a Pacific location, which was Arlington, Virginia. We utilize the Claritin's Prism at Premier Chart. And the lifestyle classifications were the Young Digerati, the Aspiring A-Listeners, the Cosmopolitans, and the Connected Bohemians. Talking about the healthy products, I will mention about the uh, a few insights here. So I was talking about the healthy uh, product that we're offering. So the ingredients we're planning on offering you guys, we plan... Um, use uh, on all our uh, chips uh, olive oil all, all we know that olive oil we all know how olive oil is very good uh, and a very healthy product so we we will be using olive oil on our products um, coca-cola will also make uh, uh, will also be making a vegan and gluten-free uh, bc chips version for uh, uh, the, the the vegan uh, uh, or uh, those who uh, don't like anything to do with uh, meat products. Um, inside too, I'll talk about the variety of original uh, chips to fit uh, dietary needs. Uh, the fight against obesity, as I was saying, is one of the major public health challenges for us. So we will also offer a healthier uh, chip alternative for those people who will um, want to enjoy a snack while watching a movie or or working from home but still care about the health and, and and product they consume so you know people can be still watching a movie at home especially during this uh, pandemic time uh, COVID-19 most people are finding themselves in front of the TV watching uh, a big screen TV uh, watching a movie on a big screen TV and of course uh, act, act as if they were in a movie theater so we are offering them a really healthy chip so while they can uh, uh, enjoy watching the movie and, and, and consuming our uh, chips as well um few concern on this side three is that we need to we, we as a company we keeping track of uh, uh the data set we know that 73 percent of americans say that they were very or fairly focused on on healthy and nutrition eating 58 percent said that most day they probably should be eating healthier uh, 54 percent of americans said people in the u.s pay more attention to eat healthy food today uh compared with uh 20 years ago so that those data are helping us because uh we we are part uh, uh we we want to be part of the solution so we want to make sure that we don't fall in a category of making things worse but but uh, making the americans uh consumer happier so we can keep uh keep them coming and uh, buying our products 
BC Chips' main marketing strategy is cost marketing. We believe that spreading awareness nationwide of the COVID-19 pandemic is important because many people continue to be affected by it. Many people have lost their jobs, have lo lost their loved ones, and have been very sick due to COVID-19. We will advertise our new product through the Coca-Cola Company website, media, which would be TV, radio, and online commercials, online social media, and in-person sampling. However, in-person sampling is not taking place right now. This is a very long-term goal that we have. Uh, we'll also talk about uh, our product distribution. So, Busy Chips will be offered in store and online at, at most grocery, uh, grocery stores, such as uh, Wigman's, as you guys can see those logos, Giant, Safeway, Whole Food Market, uh, um, some more uh, other stores that I probably didn't put the logos here, but uh, Mom's Organic Market, Walmart, Target, BC Chips, of course, will also be offered through online grocery delivery partners such as Amazon, uh, pantry, uh, Amazon Fresh, Insta Instant Car, uh, Giant, uh, Peapod, and uh, shipped for the families who prefer to uh, to get the grocery deliver to their the home. So if those who wants to be just have to deliver, we'll just ship it to them, and we'll make it easier to distribute our product. In, in that sense, we believe that if we do that, we'll be able to reach more customers, more client, um, and, and especially again, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm keep on. Um, I'm bringing back the 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 the, the idea of uh, us living during this pandemic COVID time where people don't want to move to go to the store and they want to have all the product delivered to them. This is an opportunity for us to uh, multiply ways of uh, of bringing the product to our clients. So I was talking briefly about uh, on uh, the slide above about uh, product design. So our product, this is our uh, our bag you will look like. Um, and our logo will look like. It's very, very attractive. It looks great. It's red, it's right there, it's in your face. You know, you see a little uh, chips on the side. Um, and of course we'll have, um, uh, in the back of this package, we'll have uh, 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 names of uh, the NGO who's partnering with us. Um, you know, uh, and you know, the, 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 the um, the packaging feels really nice. It's, it's, it's as you can see, it's glossy, uh, feels modern and contemporary. As you can see, the package and the colors, as I was mentioning, really brings the, 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 it, it's it it get your attention. We wanted to put colors like this, so when you're walking, you're like, "Whoa, what is this?" So those colors, that's the reason why we did it like that. So it can just pop in your eyes when you get in the store you're like you want to know what it is you want to know how it tastes and you want to buy it um so the back side of uh, the packaging will also include as i said the uh, nutritional facts the, the the cause behind the bc chips product summary of how feeding uh, america helps community nationwide uh ways to donate uh, feeding america uh, a link maybe to a center for disease control and prevention guidelines to learn about way to uh, avoid the spread of COVID-19. These are a few things that we'll have in the back of this package that will also uh, help our products. Hello, my name is Ryan Chowski and I'll be talking about the environmental aspects and value of product to the target market. The environmental goals are to eliminate food waste from potatoes, to provide organically grown potato by following environmental safe practices, to remove synthetic materials in packaging, to create a recycled boxing and biodegradable packaging bag, to use solar power and wind power for manufacturing plants and distribution centers, to eliminate wastewater, to reduce air emissions, and to recognize that the food and food packaging materials made up almost half of the municipal solid waste. And then we'll go to the value of the product. We'll appeal to 25 to 65 age group, offer a healthy snack option, and provide an environmentally safe product. Promotion. The goal of BC Chips marketing promotion is to make the name of BC Chips a household staple name. BC Chips will be introduced in the market by attractive TV ads, particularly in the upcoming Super Bowl. Additionally, we plan to advertise BC Chips through streaming networks such as Hulu and Amazon Prime.
Staple food ads are most effective when shown in family gatherings. Marketing will be challenged this year due to the pandemic has family gatherings are discouraged. Instead, we will show people enjoying BC chips while at home, watching a movie and working from home. BC chips ads will show our customers very satisfied with our product and cause behind it. BC Chips will use social media as another marketing strategy. In a 2020 study by Statista, I found that 223.03 million people in the U.S. are social media users. And due to the COVID-19 pandemic, social networks have experienced a spike in usage nationwide. One of the networks we would like to focus on is Facebook. We believe that we can target many different generations using Facebook advertisements. From my own experience, I believe this is true because I have nieces and nephews that have Facebooks as well as many older family members. Another network we would like to use is Instagram. Instagram and Twitter can be used to target younger generations such as millennials and Gen Zs. We found that most of the users of Instagram. Hello, my name is Ryan Towski, and I'll be talking about the product spokesperson slide. The ideal candidate characteristics are experience in advertising chip commercials, well-known and successful background, sports professional and a role model, and can be recognized by any age group. The candidates we want to use are Marshawn Lynch, who is a professional football player, and participated in a Frito-Lay chip commercials was twas the night before kickoff. Another person we would like to use is Anthony Davis, a professional basketball player, participated in the Ruffles new trip brand, and at this time basketball is a global sport which attracts a larger group with international recognition. Pricing strategy. Pricing objective is to create awareness of BC chips to the customers and make them to taste the product. Demand. Within a year of BC Chips introduction to the market, we expect to capture 10% of the market share and the demand to increase by the same level. Sale price experimentation will be done every quarter for the first year to adjust the price. Estimated cost. The Coca-Cola company is an established company. Therefore, cost should not be an issue at least for the first two years. We expect the promotional cost to be high in this period. We expect a break-even within the first two years. Competitors, prices and offers. BC Chips entry into the snack food industry would force competitors to either reduce the price or offer new deals. We plan to watch the market closely to make sure that BC Chips is a bargain for value using value priced comparison. Pricing method. BC Chips will use perceived value pricing. The Coca-Cola company brand reputations are reflected in BC Chips. Final price. The Coca-Cola company pricing policy will be adhered to ensure prices are reasonable to customers and profitable to the company. Cross-sectional customer surveys from sampling decks will capture the customer's willingness to pay for BC chips. Um, NGO, um, yes, NGO, we will definitely work with a uh, partner with NGO. Why? Because partnering with an NGO contribute to peaceful, well-governed and secure society and stable operating as uh, we see this so is encouraging healthy, uh, active population uh, and, and reducing rates of disease, strengthen local communities, sharing values that underpin economically and social successful society because many many NGOs really consider working with uh, the private sector and, and they're looking for companies like us, like BC Chips, companies that want to do good to collaborate in their project. We strongly believe that it will be beneficial and um, uh, on our best interest to partner and uh, engage in a more uh, productive and sustainable relationship with an NGO through our partnership. We will be able to get, uh, uh, you know, what 
what happened is when you work with an NGO, you get more credibility, expertise, and rich. So credibility extends from using a, a, a logo of our partners on, on our packaging that I'll be talking about briefly uh, with the message maybe that our chips you know, are sourced ethically um, and uh, sustainably. Partnership, as I'm saying, partnering with an NGO will, will, will help us tremendously, no doubt. As previously mentioned, BC Chips' main purpose is to help communities in need that have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. The nonprofit organization that best aligns with our goals is Feeding America. Feeding America is the nation's largest hunger relief organization. Their networks of food banks, pantries, and meal programs serve virtually every community in the United States, which is 40 billion people. This includes 12 million children and 7 million seniors. They provide over 4.3 billion meals annually, helping one out of seven Americans facing hunger. Feeding America is highly rated by the Charity Navigator with four stars rating and overall financial and accountability and transparency. They are also an accredited charity by the Better Business Bureau. BC Chips plans to donate 50% of profit sales to Feeding America as well as donating potatoes and other supplies that they will provide to their 200 food banks, food pantries, and soup kitchens as well as homeless shelters nationwide.